Hi, this is a quick practice video for the song, I Won't Sneeze. If you have this book, Teaching Little Mozarts to Play, it is on page 12. If you do not have the book, I have sent your parents the music. And parents, this is mostly for the younger children, so you may have to sit down with them and practice uh, the video with them, but they may get to the point where they can watch the video a few times and um, navigate it on their own. They're just playing along with me. So we're gonna make it short and sweet so that hopefully they do it several times a week, okay? So this is also for the parents um, so that you're aware that this book has a little story on the upper left hand corner of the characters in the book and so the story progresses every time there's a new song so parents you can read the part of the story to your child then you see a picture of a keyboard in the middle of the song it's right to the right of the title the title is I won't sneeze and right to the right of that is a picture of a piano and there's notes that are colored in. The colored in notes are the notes that we're going to use in this song. C, D, E, and F. So the kids know that two black keys, if you look at the picture, two black keys and the note on the bottom is, kids tell your parents what note that is, it's a C. Okay, this particular song has all the answers written in the notes. It's pretty easy. The toughest thing about this song is it starts with the fourth finger and it starts with this one which is the letter F and the fourth finger is the weakest finger for the kids to press. So that's really the most difficult thing about this song. Some of the real young kids were using one finger like this, okay? But we were trying to get away from that and use our fingers independently. So for some, this still may be a challenge. Hopefully for most people, we were getting to the point where we were using our fingers independently. So kids, I want you to hold up your right hand in the air, okay? Which hand's your right hand? Because if you look on the paper underneath the title, you'll see a picture of a hand, and I always tell the kids, hold your hand up and see which hand matches the pictures. Parents, it says RH on the hand, that means right hand. So quiz your kids, hold up your right hand, make sure they're holding up the correct hand. You take that right hand and you put it on the piano. You find two black keys, and then you put your thumb on the C, the white key on the bottom. And then I tell the kids, every finger, they're all in their houses. So there's one finger per key. So I say, oh, that's their house, don't let them move. And sometimes the kids, if they're looking at the music, their hand might travel without them realizing it. So a key is to keep your hand in the same place and not to move it. So the, the uh, music also shows you not only that the first note is an F, but it has a number four above it. That means it's finger four. One, two, three, four. Okay, kids, hold your hand up and count, count your fingers. Here we go, let's do it together. One, two, three, four. So remember, that's the one it's gonna start with, right? Okay, so we've got our hands on the piano with a little bubble under there. You don't want your hand to be like this. You have to hold it up like there's a pretend tennis ball under there and your fingers are curved. You don't wanna play flat fingered like this or have your hand all moving around. It just stays like this and plays and this part right here just stays straight and only the fingers move. Okay, so I'll show you a good exercise at the end of this that you can uh, do with your kids to help strengthen their fingers and get them to move independently. Okay, so all the kids, do you have, I know I've been talking to mommy and daddy and hopefully you've been listening too, but do you have your hand up here on the piano? Okay, your thumb is on C and all your fingers are in their houses. Press number four, the F, C, D, E, F. Let me hear it. Make sure you get it, press it real hard. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try to play together. If you wanna just say the letters with me the first time as you're looking at your book, you can. One, two, ready, say it. F, 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 C, C, D, E, F, F, F. 
Okay, so if you had trouble saying those letters with me, you can pause the video and rewind it, or you can pause the video and work on it. When we go, ah, that's just where there's a rest and we don't play, okay? So hopefully you said those letters with me. Um, if you didn't, go ahead and rewind and try it again. All right, now we'll try to play it. I thought it might be a better idea for us to practice saying them first. Okay, so we're gonna play. So we got our hand ready. I'm still gonna say the letters though, okay, ready? One, two, ready, play. Did you do it? Did you keep up with me? So remember, it's always a good idea. If you're four years old, you should pause the video and you practice it four times, okay? Or before you watch the video the next day, you play it four times before you watch the video so that when we play together, you'll be prepared. If you're five years old, you practice it five times. However old you are, that's how many times you practice this piece, okay? If you're seven, you gotta play it seven times. And guess what? I bet you if you do that, every time you sit down to practice, you will know it in just a few days. Uh, like anything else, the more you practice, the better you're gonna be. Since we're stuck at home right now, then I think I'm gonna see a lot of improvement in everybody's piano playing, okay? So be sure you sit down and practice this. I made this video short on purpose, okay? We we didn't do, it's very, very quick so that you can watch it a couple times during the week, okay? Um, one more thing before I go and show you the finger exercise. If you look at the beginning of the song, we have an F right here. And do you guys, can you guys tell me what that means? Do you think that means forte? Or do you think it means piano? I think most of you know it means forte, which means loud. That's the Italian word for loud. So you do wanna press hard, and this is a loud song, okay? If you have a keyboard, it's easier to press, and there's a volume button, so you won't be able to play loud and soft. But if you have an acoustic piano like I do, if you press soft, and like we do at school, then it's soft. If you play loud, you press hard, it plays louder. Let's play the song one more time, and then we'll do the um, finger exercise. Ready? See if you can keep up with me this time. I hope you paused the video and played it however old you are. You ready? One, two, ready, play. Did you do it? You can rewind the video and try to play with me again, or you can pause the video and practice how old you are. Now let's try a finger exercise. You can do this with moms and dads too. You match every finger, okay? So all the number ones are touching, your number twos, threes, fours, and fives, okay? And what you do is now touch number one together, but don't let go of any other fingers, okay? This will make your fingers strong. Okay, let's stop now. Finger number two, go. And stop. That's pretty easy, right? Okay, finger number three. It's gonna get a little trickier. Here we go. And stop. Here comes the trickiest of all time, number four. Let's see if you can do it. Touch number fours. Oh, it's so tricky to get those fours moving. Woo, keep trying and don't let go of your other fingers. And stop. And then five, that's not too bad. Everybody press number fives together. And stop. And you can practice that while you're watching TV or sitting around and the more you do it the easier it'll be okay and don't forget that I am going to um, 
have a video lesson with you. So I will be contacting your parents and we'll be doing it on Skype or FaceTime. Be sure you uh, parents text me so that we set up a time to make sure that I can hear their songs. Plus this new one that I gave them because everyone's probably a little rusty. I haven't seen them in two weeks because of spring break and then the school closure. So anyway, you guys have fun and I cannot wait to hear this song and I bet you're gonna do awesome on it, okay? Keep practicing.